Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, December 23rd, 2012, and this is a Zero News update from the workshop. I've decided that I'm no longer going to call this the shed, it is now the workshop. So when I tell the girls I'm going down to the back of the house, I'm going to the workshop, not to the shed. Uh, we made it! We made it. It's uh, two days now past the apocalypse. I sent out a tweet uh, yesterday with a uh, cartoon graphic of Marvin the Martian from Warner Brothers Cartoons that says, Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom! And I remember that episode it's where uh, he's trying to destroy the planet Earth to get a better view of Venus through his telescope and Bugs Bunny is trying to stop him. Very funny. I thought it was very appropriate. And uh, anyway, as you can see from this next video clip that I'm about to show you, all of the first coat of the taping is complete. Uh, I have done the ceiling, the closets, uh, all of the walls, and uh, applied all of the paper tape. Funny enough, the other night when I was uh, applying my tape, I had originally purchased a 250 foot spool, and I had about 75 to 80 feet left on a remaining spool that I had up at the garage. I used all of it and I thought I would have enough and at the very end for that last piece I came up five feet short. Five lousy feet. I had to drive all the way to Home Depot to pick up a 75 foot spool for to, to create an eight foot section that I only had three feet for. So that was fun. Uh, today I am doing the light sanding and instead of sanding with sandpaper which creates a enormous amount of dust and I originally was not going to broadcast live on Justin TV because I didn't want my camera or my computer exposed to the really fine dust that's created when you sand sheetrock uh, joint compound. Um, it was suggested to me that I try the wet sponge technique and I have a wet sponge uh, it has an abrasive side and a smooth side, and I bought this originally when we were doing the wallpaper of our foyer up at the house. It is perfect. works extremely well, and right now I'm about to demonstrate to you exactly how to go about the process of um, sanding or, or removing the, the bumps and burrs of the first coat of sheetrock joint compound for the application of the final coat. The final coat I hope to put on later today, and if it dries quickly enough, I might even uh, do the primer. I have two gallons of primer, which should be plenty to cover 800 square feet of wall space that I have. And uh, after that, December 24th and 25th, I'll be taking a couple of days off. And then uh, on uh, Wednesday through the end of, end of this week, um, I hope to finish the painting and the trim and start moving the, the stuff around between the, the shed and the garage and actually make the move in official hopefully this next coming weekend before the new year and uh, begin the project with the, with the rocket stove so uh, as one of my one of my nerd herd peeps in the uh, regular chat room for Justin TV had predicted January 11th as the start date for the rocket stove. I think I'm going to significantly beat that. So those of you who participated in the uh, in the gambling pool to figure out when Z's going to start his rocket stove, you lose. <laughs> I will be starting before January 11th. So that's all for the update from the workshop. I hope you're all enjoying the video series as I produce it. Having a lot of fun doing it and uh, can't wait to get started on the rocket stove and other projects that you want to see. Thank you again for all of your donations. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season and uh, I'll be back soon with more videos of the, uh, of the finished, finished workshop. Everyone take care. Peace.